All right, you guys, today I'm back with another video, another reaction. Um, this video is about God of War Ragnarok, and I'm a huge fan of God of War, in case y'all didn't know. I already got the game um, pre-ordered. Um, yeah, it was a couple of days ago I pre-ordered. Uh, I spent $70 on it. Um, I think it said 88 days or something like that. But this is uh, a trailer about God of War. So anything God of War related, I'm checking it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm hyped for it. So uh, let's just get into this video uh, and see what uh, happens. It's quite the storm we're having. Seems good winter's here to stay. In the meantime, how about a story? Well, we work by the fire. First of all, this story better be good because I was thinking this was like more more gameplay because I'm interested in seeing more gameplay, but I don't want to be spoiled too much on God of War Ragnarok. But I mean, it's cool that Sony is, you know, giving us something uh, and, and, and trying to get us hyped you know, for the next installment of God of War. So, um, yeah. Let's, let, let, let me just play it, because I, I, just, I just need to see what, what's going to happen. Those filthy spies. That old man sees more now than he did when he had those eyes. Ah, one of my favorites. It's a story of adventure. A father and son working together to overcome insurmountable odds. Setting in motion the greatest war the nine realms have ever seen. I'm getting. Oh, and one more thing, you guys. I thought it was North mythology, as in like no North, but it's Nor mythology or something like that. I thought it, I kept because when when I said it, I kept saying North, like North, East, South, West, West, like North. You know what I'm saying? Like in a direction, I'm thinking like North mythology, but it's North mythology or something like that. But uh, if if I'm saying it wrong, y'all please uh, correct me down in the comments about that. Be a bit ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. There once was a god from a far off land who settled in Midgard, disguised as a man. He started a new life, had a wife and a boy, they were happy together. In peace, they found joy. His wife passed away. Kratos mourned. Now, I'm sorry for pausing it. She said that his wife passed away. Now, in God of War 2018, they did show us, you know, her body, I think, and, and you know, saying that the mother passed away. But I never really got a fulfillment. I wanted like a, a backstory. Like they showing us what led up to her death, like what happened. So I'm hoping in God of War Ragnarok that they reveal, you know what I'm saying? They reveal that, you know what I'm saying? Like I want to see the details, like go into the details of what happened to the mother and how um, her death came about. Cause I just, I want to see it. Cause in God of War uh, 2018, in the beginning, that's all I was thinking to myself, like, why they, why they didn't show, like, a little back? You know, like, you play a game, you know what I'm saying, and they'll give you, like, a little uh, story, you know what I'm saying, before you go to the next mission or whatever. I was just hoping, like, they gave a backstory. So, in God of War Ragnarok, I'm expecting that, like, a backstory of the mother and what happened and what led up to her death. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that in the comments. With his son. But where one journey ended, a new had begun. Faye's final request, though it seemed rather bleak, spread my ashes atop the nine realms' tallest peak. As they readied themselves for the long road ahead, a stranger accosted them in their homestead. Baldur sought answers as Odin's hand. Now, Boulder, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to be pausing and giving my thoughts and, you know, just Boulder. I think he is a like 
like a beautiful god or something or something like they worshiped his beauty or something or something like that y'all tell y'all like correct me if i'm if i'm wrong about barter like uh is he a god like like w was he worshiped like in beauty or something like he was so beautiful or something something like that y'all correct me if i'm wrong about that Pus gave none to the aesir fire friend they made way for the mountains kratos taught the boy skills keeping godhood a secret but training to kill Gods were always in danger, this Kratos knew, but secrets, he'd learn, could harm the boy too. They found Mimir in a tree, punishment for his wrongs, so they lopped off his head, and they brought him along. Mimir held ancient wisdom and knew the lost god of war. He warned, tell the boy, but Kratos ignored. No, no, now hold on a minute. Is that all that's in there about me? Something to add? Actually, yes, I do. Wow. You see, Odin, in all of his dreadfully paranoid wisdom, trapped me in that bloody tree for perceived wrongs. And I led quite the colorful life before even meeting him. It all started when I was just a lad in the service of a great fairy king. Riveting stuff, really. We'll have to get back to that later. No, don't turn the thing. I want to go If Mimir were telling the story, we'd be here all day. Anyways, they met Freya, masquerading as a witch in the woods. A god knows a god. Okay, so pretty much she's given the rundown of what happened in God of War 2018. Because that's literally all I'm seeing. It's like she's literally breaking down everything that we went through when we played that game in 2018. Like, that's all I'm seeing. And, and they're literally just, like, making it into, like, a book or something. Like, literally, I'm just seeing, like, I'm having, like, visions of my gameplay when I was playing God of War 2018 while she's giving this backstory of what happened in the game. She would aid where she could. She cautioned, you must tell your son he's divine. But Kratos dismissed her. He regret this in time. On the road... Baldur's allies, Thor's sons, attacked. Something snapped in Atreus as he tried to fight back. The Aesir lost the battle, but Atreus fell too. Kratos rushed into Freya. She would know what to do. Freya was disheartened with the father's neglect, but with the heart of Hell's troll, she could save his son yet. Kratos thundered through Helheim and slew the great troll. He had captured its heart, but in his burned a hole. He returned with his offering. Freya cast a keen spell, and Atreus was healed. Though not all was well. Kratos sat with his son, and for once he was true, revealing he was a god. And Atreus was too. Delighted at first, it seemed all would go smoothly. Then arrogance followed and bent Atreus toward cruelty. With tensions flared, Balder preyed on their discord, casting back into Helheim to Kratos and his ward. In Helheim, they learned Freya caused Balder's plight. His mother's ill-conceived curse robbed his life of all light. They emerged from the realm as they neared journey's end, but Balder appeared and attacked once again. Atreus and Kratos were ready this time, stronger together with their power combined. Freya intervened on behalf of her son, begging Baldur's forgiveness for all that she'd done. Okay, for all that she done, like, I remember this in God of War 2018. I need a little more in-depth, just like uh, Atreus' mother and her death. I need a little more in-depth and backstory on that. And with Freya, I need a little bit more backstory on what she did to Baldur. Like, I need... I need that. Like in God of War Ragnarok, I don't know about you guys, but I need this backstory on Atreus mother and how her death happened and Freya and what she did to her son. I need that backstory. I need that lore. I need that backstory. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Do y'all need the same? Because I just feel like you know, they I mean the story was really good and in God of War 2018, so I'm expecting nothing less in God of War Ragnarok. 
But I still need those two back stories with Freya and what she did to her son and Atreya's mother and how her death happened. I want to I want to know that. Baldur strangled his mother. Kratos lunged with a snap. Baldur slumped. Freya wailed. And he died in her lap. Something changed in the world. Snow started to fall. The dawn of Fimble Winter. The dusk of it all. Atreus asked, Is this what it means to be gods? Killing our parents forever at odds? No! Kratos bellowed as he dropped to one knee. We will be the gods that we choose to be. Finally, together, they reached the great peak, finding Jotunheim's temple, the giant's retreat. A prophetic mural showed the life they had led. The boy's mother was a giant, they learned as they read. Atreus walked to the cliffside. Kratos eyed the wall slowly. Beneath the boy's picture, one more thing, y'all. I mean, I know the video is about the end. How did Kratos meet Atreus' mother? It's like, I, I just got so many questions that I need a backstory answer to. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just like craving it. Like, how did Kratos meet Atreus' mother? A giant, for that matter. Like, how did they meet? Like, I just, I need that backstory, y'all. Like, I really do. I'm, And I'm hoping, I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I'm hoping they give us a lot of answers in God of War Ragnarok when it comes to the backstory of certain things. I need to know how did Atreus' mother die and what led to her death? Freya backstory of what she did to her son and three how did Kratos meet Atreus mother I need those three back stories I need those a name was added Loki they scattered her ashes and watched as they lifted over rolling red hills the wind danced and it drifted standing side by side Feeling hopeful and new, the boy was at peace. And the father was too. With their promise fulfilled, they returned to their home. They trained day after day, lest they reap what they'd sown. Atreus grew restless, wary, Kratos remained. Ragnarok loomed as the great winter waned. Don't tell me if it can stop him here. Things were just getting good. Oh. Um, I suppose we could go on a bit longer. An excellent idea. This is the most dramatic part. On second thought, perhaps we'd better cut it short. It seems that we're out of time. If you want to know how this story ends, I'm afraid you'll have to find out for yourself. Until... See... I knew they was going to do that. Of course, they're basically getting us hyped for God of War Ragnarok. She was like, basically, if you want to know the rest to the story, you got to find out for yourself. Basically, getting you all hyped and excited. Like, oh, man, I need to go purchase God of War Ragnarok. Well, I already purchased it. I already spent my $70. So I'm going to know, you know, because like I said, I need to know what happened with Atreus' mother's death, how her death came about. I need to know how did Kratos meet Atreus' mother, the giant? And then Freya, I need to know a backstory of all the things she did to her son, Boulder. I need those backstories. But guys, tell me what y'all think. Are y'all hyped for God of War Ragnarok? Because I know I am. I will be playing it day one. I will be putting like some game clips up for me. Playing and by the way, I play all my games on hard. I don't play on easy, so y'all gonna be seeing some short clip gameplays of God of War Ragnarok on hard. But if y'all hype for God of War, let me know in the comments. Uh, and to the next video, I'll see y'all then. Peace.